Cadet Max was started in 2008 because the Auckland Chamber of Commerce wanted to be part of the solution to help young people into jobs. We partnered with the Ministry of Social Development to make the connection between young people with talent and drive and employers who are seeking. We just find it hard to find good, reliable people. I think there's an economic driver for employing someone from the Cadet Max because you get diversity of your business. Businesses should hire young people and they offer ambition and, and drive within the workforce. Teach them from the beginning so they don't bring bad habits. For the young people, we feel it's really given them confidence. We see them leaving with their heads even higher. Young people walk through our door very often with no recognition of what their skills and talents are. They don't believe in themselves yet and they need really solid career guidance. They don't know what a job might look like that would match their skills and their aspirations. I just want to excel in engineering. I'm looking at bigger and better things. Become a billionaire. I want to be the CEO. I wouldn't mind being a storeman or warehousing. I'd prefer to work for my money than just get it on the benefit. The Auckland Chamber of Commerce is ideally and uniquely placed. It is a networking organisation and jobs are found through networking. So we use our brand, our reputation, our networks to reach out to employers and find employers that want to give opportunities to young people, that believe in the ethos that we operate within a community for the fantastic work that's going on in those kinds of partnership between government and the Chamber. A great example of it is, is Cadet Max, because they've done the hard work for you. They've turned them on, they've got the brain stimulated, they've taught them what it will mean to get up in the morning to turn up somewhere, they've taught them the fundamentals of coming into a job. So we're making a difference, we're seeing them get off steadily, we are seeing those connections into work. They have an equal place in this society and they should have an equal opportunity. I thought it was an opportunity to put something back into the community by getting a young person who wouldn't necessarily have the foot in the door that they would have otherwise. I was ringing around, couldn't find a job, went to WINS, but he sent me to Cadet Max. We explained the sort of person that we were looking for, the skills and the attributes that we needed, the type of work that we were going to have for that person. They then came back with a range of people for us to interview and we chose honey. Apparently there was too much testosterone in this area, so I thought it was a good thing to have a female in the, in the factory. She certainly brings a, a sense of humour and an energy level which is much appreciated here. I rise up faster in here than what I thought I would. To me it was good to be put out on machines and you can teach me once or twice and then it'd be good and I'd be able to learn faster that way. We've got a very dedicated team here, so if people aren't learning and working hard, then they won't fit in, and she has. Having not been exposed to the corporate world before, he's basically starting from scratch, doesn't know any better, so everything you do tell him, um, he definitely takes it in, and I think that's a great way to start off someone's career. It was actually more of a training on the go, um, but it was, it was very thorough. Um, any question I had, I just would ask my manager, and he would take his time out to come and make sure I knew what I was doing. I expect reliability, I expect punctuality, I expect good appearance. Tams has been a very good role model and example of what Cadet Max can put out. Cadet Max actually helps you, they actually stick to what they say. Cadet Max has helped us with the few staff issues we used to have. I've learned a lot here, they teach me so much every day. I actually love what I do, it's what I've wanted to do. As an employer it really has introduced us to new young people and their way of thinking. It also has helped raise our profile as an employer. Once you place a cadet into employment, we are committed to supporting that young person for the first year. This mitigates some risk. This puts a support person in there who that young person feels very comfortable talking to and helps us to iron through those first year. They're always employed from Cadet Max, so you don't have to negotiate their contracts. And they actually check up on you, see how things are. If we're unfortunate to get one that couldn't cut the mustard, go back to Cadet Max and say, look, it's, it's just not working for us. With any relationship, there's some getting used to each other, there's some good bits, there's some not so good bits. And that mentoring process, I think, worked extremely well. Mentoring was good. It breaks everything up too, and then you get used to your workplace and your mentor coming in, and then she weans off, so, and then you get closer to your workplace. Cadet Max 
is a partnership. It's a partnership between government, between the chamber, between the community and young people and schools. We've placed around 450 young people into career start opportunities and that's 450 households who have a working young person contributing to the family which is very often a key motivator. If we take someone on who is young, unemployed, not only do we help that person, but we also help their wider family. I've run through about eight or nine people. They have worked really well for us. I would certainly recommend other employers to look at the scheme differently. Good employees, you don't always look for technical skills, you look for attitude, and they really come with the right attitude. That positiveness is something that just builds right across the organisation.